The controversy over former President Trump holding a photo op in Arlington National Cemetery is heating up. The Army today weighed in, defending an Arlington staffer who was allegedly shoved by a member of Trump's team. Now we're speaking with two Gold Star family members who have very strong and different reactions to what happened. They spoke with Amber Cogliano. They are two Gold Star family members with very different reactions to the uproar over Donald Trump's photo op taken on sacred grounds at Arlington National Cemetery. Karen Meredith's son, First Lieutenant Ken Ballard, is buried in Section 60. He lost his life in 2004 in Iraq. He is a presidential candidate. He is not the president. He doesn't belong in Arlington for that. Do you want him to apologize? No, I want him banned from Arlington. I also spoke to Cheryl Jules, the aunt of Sergeant Nicole G, who was killed at Abbey Gate during the chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan in 2021. Trump was our guest there. He was there for a very short time. It was just him paying respects along with us. We asked both President Trump and President Biden and Kamala Harris and uh, they didn't show. Do you have any problem with the fact that the video was used for campaign now? We wanted the videos and the footage for us, for our family members that couldn't make it, but if it helps him get reelected, we're, it, it, it's inconsequential to us. But today, the Army is rebuking Trump in the wake of the Fuhrer saying political activity at the cemetery is prohibited. The video was used for a campaign post on TikTok, a big no-no. We didn't lose one person in 18 months. And then they took over that disaster, the leaving of Afghanistan. The Army is also coming to the defense of a woman cemetery employee who they say was abruptly pushed aside while blocking Trump's team from filming. But Trump's campaign spokesman claims the worker was suffering from a mental health episode and denies there was any pushing. The campaign also claimed that they had footage of what transpired and they threatened to release it. I will point out they have not released any footage to date. The Army says the employee acted with decorum. It is unfortunate that her professionalism has been unfairly attacked. Military officials said that she was afraid that she was going to be retaliated against by Trump supporters. Trump is dealing with another controversy after he reposted a photo of Kamala Harris with Hillary Clinton. The post includes a lewd caption that we are not showing in full. Well, Trump, for his part, also went on a reposting spree today, including one yeah that kind of makes my, my stomach feel sick. The race for the White House is getting so heated that Kamala Harris's stepdaughter, Ella Emhoff, is shutting down her knitting club over fears for her physical safety. The gatherings were held in the East Village, New York City. Unfortunately, with everything going on right now, I'm not able to conduct them just to protect myself and the other club members. The smartest thing is to just hold off until things calm down.